That was pizza. I can be very careful about how I say that public forum. All right. Doesn't know what I'm doing. Doesn't know what I'm doing. Very good. Uh, my name is Brent Casillas. Um, I grew up in Angel's Palace Pizza in Cumberland. My parents opened it in 1978. Uh, we're going to be going on to our 40th year in business. And my parents came over as immigrants, running a small pizza shop. Um, and they worked and worked and worked. And when we went home from school, we went to the restaurant to see our parents. Um, and they worked hard. I believe at one point my mother went one vacation in 17 years to make sure that she took care of us and herself and took care of the business. It was always about the business. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the takeaways. I had a small pizzeria at my family dinner. When I went to college, I had to make money. I bartended and served. That's how I made my end meet. It was awesome that I talked to my servers. Now we have about over 85 employees at the Cumberland location now, and uh, about 30, about 20 of them servers. The tip wage is a beautiful thing. It's the only thing that allowed me when I was in college to be able to go work six, eight hours and make a couple hundred bucks in tips. I couldn't get a normal job to keep my class sketch. It didn't work out. Uh, and what I love about it, it's it allowed, it puts me as the owner, as an owner of a restaurant and as an employee of a restaurant. We align our interests together. Like they're kind of renting space by their time, they put their time in, they come and truck it. They're kind of partners in the business. And on average, it tips 20%, uh, if not higher. My service at a pizzeria in Cumberland, Rhode Island, are making about $16 an hour in tips. I have a small place in Pawtucket. Uh, my GM's here tonight, I'll look at a stick on right later. But they do very well there. He worked a, a lunch shift today, serving me $140. Now, to me, it's just, I think it just, it's a way that allows a ton of flexibility in the work schedule. A ton of my employees are students or single moms. I have friends that I went to high school with that you know, are 40, 41 years old now. Their kids get a little bit older. They've been out of the workforce. They call me up like, yeah, I want to come serve. I'm like, well, I don't want to get out of the house. I want to get back into work. And it allows me to just pick up a day or two get a couple hundred dollars. But not, you know, Bank of America is not hiring people like that for a shift or two shifts. We allow a lot of opportunity. That's all I really want to add. I just also wanted to point out that if you look at the United States Department of Labor statistics, um, I've been just kind of watching I've the tip wage in Rhode Island, finally went up to 389. I have a restaurant in Massachusetts as well, as well, right, 375. But in 2014 versus 2015, they, they don't, you can't have 16 pounds available yet. Massachusetts went up on its tip wage, and the medium hourly wage for bartenders and service from the prior year actually went down. Um, and I just thought it was interesting. We don't have a lot of facts out there. We haven't seen the effect of the increase on the tip rate, but I'll tell you one thing. If you talk to my servers, we raise them by a dollar in a year. None of them would see that because they rely on the tips. It's lucrative. And what I did, when, when the tip wage went up a dollar in the last year, I basically had to increase my prices. When I increased my prices, that means the percentage of the bill went up. And as a result, the servers made more of a tip. And they made more already on the tip because because I increased my prices, but they didn't see it. I asked them today, did you notice the raise? Did you notice the dollar? No, that makes no difference to us. I just think that this is a great way for people to make good money quickly, people that are studying other careers or doing part-time work. I think it's, uh, honestly, uh, I think it would be an outlier if you look at a bill of $15 on the tip wage. Massachusetts right now currently its tip wage is 34% of the minimum wage, and I believe Rhode Island's are 40% of the minimum wage currently, particularly the minimum wage. Just something to consider. I hope you guys just look at it and realize that service is everything, and I think um, working with kind of the tipping environment allows customers to receive great service and allows your employees to kind of be a partner in your business. They're 20% partner on the sales that they are able to get on a given item. Chris said it always a guaranteed minimum wage at the end of the week. Thank you very much. Thank you.